Hey guys, my name is Mohan Pober. I buy businesses and help others do the same, buy businesses and raise capital. I've been in business over the last 10 years. Uh, my most famous success was buying an app company, turning it around and building it so it in the top 100 app in more than 100 uh, stores in the app store. Uh, I since helped many entrepreneurs to go out there, raise capital, buy businesses, sell their businesses, buy businesses. And I saw deals in pretty much any industry you can think of. I saw hundreds of deals and this is what those videos are all about, to give you and open your eyes to what's possible. Um, I also, before we start with the topic of the video, I have a mentorship program where I work with people one-on-one -on -one to show them the in-depth process A to Z with the nuances of how a deal looks like so you won't make any mistakes in the process because we're talking about buying big businesses here, doing at least a million a year in sales. If you want to learn more about that, see in the description uh, somewhere under this video. Um, and yeah, this is kind of like my side thing because I only able to work with just a few people at a time and they just give them really access to me all the time because I know that I want them to be successful. I know I want you to be successful if you're going to be my client. So I need to filter you first to make sure you're serious and then it's all in because I know that I'll potentially be a partner with you in the future on deals, either passively, which is me putting money or actively with me being more involved if the deal makes sense for both of us. It's not a must for you to partner with me. Um, but yeah, let's let's get to today's topic, which is pretty, pretty interesting subject about... Um, anything related to buying business. So one of the main questions that people ask me in terms of buying businesses is, cool, sounds like buying businesses is awesome, but where do I find money to pay for those businesses, right? And I'm talking a little bit about maybe OPM, other people money, it sounds great, right? But what exactly it means? How do you actually go out there, look for a business you wanna buy, and where do you find that money to buy those businesses? So as a first thing, most people think that they need millions of dollars in their bank account, in order to do those deals. They think that they need to start a business from scratch, grow it, to then sell it, to then have millions of dollars in your bank account, to then potentially become an investor and do those deals, buy businesses. And I'm telling you that's not the case. You can basically reverse the process, decide first that you wanna be an investor and buy businesses and a deal maker, find a good deal, and then you'll find the money. Or in my mentorship program, we show you around nine different type of deals where money is not even involved in many of them because you can create those deals and add value that isn't just money for those business owners and they will give you equity or their business for free um, or just offers, I don't like the word free, but for value that would bring them and value isn't necessarily money. So all those ways and others are ways I'm talking about in my mentorship program when you work with me closely. Today, I want to talk about one of the money side of things, right? So. Where do you get money? Let's say you find a business and let's be more specific. Today, I want to talk about asset-based lender. That's one of the ways for us, the one type of financial institutions that we can use in order to go out there and buy businesses. And when you're using asset-based lenders, that's basically doing deals that are called LBOs, leverage buyouts. And those are amazing deals because you can go and pick a business that you like and let's say you find a business that you like, you're getting all their info, you're getting their numbers, their financials, you have access to their PL, to their balance sheet. And then what you can do is take that balance sheet with the list of assets, obviously with all the information about the assets and understanding of what's going on in there. And then on the balance sheet, you have things like accounts receivables or trade debtors in the UK. Uh, you have things like inventory, equipment, real estate sometimes that comes with the business, things like that. Cash, obviously, that you can uh, leverage as well. You can take those list of assets, bring them to financial institutions that is specialized in doing asset-based lending, and then bring it to them and tell them, hey, look, this is the business I want to buy. How much can I raise based on those assets? And there's a large percentage that we can raise. I'm talking at least, obviously it depends on the assets, let's say 80% of those assets we can now raise. We can then use that money to buy that business. Does it make sense? We're basically leveraging that business asset to pay for its own cost of the acquisition cost, which is pretty insane. I remember when I heard it for the first time, I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. How I didn't hear about it before uh, and why I'm freaking working so hard to get one client at a time where I can just get one business at a time. So that's one of the ways. And what I'm trying to say with asset-based lenders, so obviously it depends on the assets and it's, people don't understand it at first, but the, the best way for me to explain to you asset-based lenders is it's, it's kind of like real estate when you buy in a home i'm sure you bought a home maybe or someone you know bought a home and when you buy a home many people if they're not using 100 percent of their cash which they can same goes in business but they don't have to they can go out there and take a mortgage 
and if you're qualified for the mortgage then you can raise some capital using the real estate the home that you don't own yet you raise capital but then you pay for the home using the opm basically the money that you just leveraged and you pay back that capital that you raised either from your own money or in our case from the business cash flow that is operating on a regular basis now you're probably asking what kind of so i said you need to be qualified to get that financial institutions to loan you that money right so you're probably asking hey what kind of qualifications i need to have and that's a very generic question and it really depends on the financial institutions you're talking to uh like in my mentorship program we're giving you a rolodex of companies that we work with or know that can give you those different type of loans based on different criteria and things that we can use in the business so yeah that's that's all about asset based lenders that's again just one of the ways to go out there and pay for the business without using your own money it's very common in the real estate space to take mortgages um, and it's definitely doable in the business space and most people just don't know about it so i want to open your eyes like i said in my mentorship program we're talking about nine different ways to go out there and use opm and do those type of deals and i give you rolodex for companies that i worked with that we worked with me and my team and that you can go out there and use as well um, and if you want to learn more about that, just see below this video about more information. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay in touch with me on all social media platforms. Subscribe, like, all those different things. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just let me know if you like it, you hate it. And either way, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.